before I begin with this review, I just want to mention that this is a collaborative review with the amazing Mr. Hollywood Show. Check out his review below for this film because I'm not going to put it up here because I want you to give his channel views. So, yeah, now that we've gotten that out of our way, check the video on the description, then come back here to watch my review of Daddy's Home. Alright guys, so Daddy's Home. In Daddy's Home, Will Ferrell plays Brad, a stepfather of Linda Cardellini's two children. One day, the children's real father, Dusty, being played by Mark Wahlberg, returns back, and now it's a battle of dad versus stepdad. Going into Daddy's Home, I was very excited. The two leads in this movie, I like their previous duo comparing with the other guys, and I also thought the trailers looked really funny, so I was hoping for this to be good. Finally, I saw it Sunday night, and how was it? Well, let's find out. Now, Daddy's Home isn't the great comedy that I hoped it was, however, it was still a decent comedy. First, let's talk about the acting here. Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell work very well together as their previous duo. Ferrell is a character who is 100% trying to become these kids like real father and wants to be a very father-like figure. And he he just really like strives to be this kid like an outlet for them to like talk to him, treat him like they're like he's the real father. And I thought he did. I thought Will Ferrell did a really good job at portraying this. And Mark Wahlberg's character, Dusty, he was very funny in this movie as well. He has a lot of comedic moments between Will Ferrell specifically, but also he has a great rapport with Linda Cardellini's character, as well as the two kids in the movie, which let's just talk about Linda Cardellini's character really quickly. She does a pretty good job in this as well. I'm excited to see her in something that's not Scooby-Doo recently, because we all know from, from Freaks and Geeks that she's actually a very talented actress, so I'm glad that I got to see her in this. She did a really good job, as I had expected. The direction here is alright. In the past, director Sean Andrews made the movie Horrible Bosses 2, which I personally own on Blu-ray. I thought it was a really funny movie. So I'm surprised that this wasn't that funny because this movie has a large amount of childish humor and at moments it is over it overweighs the uh, like the somewhat adult humor elements of the movie which I didn't really care for at all. Right in here is very childish as well. The movie is written by four writers and two of them in specific one of them is Eaton Cohen who made previously this year terrible get hard if you guys remember that from February with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. So, I mean, I wasn't really expecting the writing to be too solid. However, it's also written by Adam McKay, who, who written, who's written some of the movies recently, like Ant-Man, The Big Short, which I had heard has really good screenplay, Step Brothers, and I enjoy Ant-Man and several. I think they're very well-written films. However, here it's just, I don't even think he had much to do with the writing of this movie, even though his name's labeled on it, because it's just a lot of the humor here. It's very childish, and I was sitting in the theater waiting for it to pick up and actually get me interested rather than just have dumb joke after dumb joke after jump after dumb joke. Now, it might sound like I hate the movie at this point, but I really do not. There are definitely some moments that I was laughing out loud, specifically when they're at the Lakers game and he is called to uh, throw a half court shot, I believe, yeah. Uh, that was a very funny scene in the movie. I was like hysterical. And the movie also has a great cameo at the end that uh, that alone just brings brings the movie up like half star and it's like nearly worth admission just for that cameo. No, I'm kidding, but it's a pretty cool cameo. Overall, I'm gonna give Daddy's Home a C plus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 401. I will see you all later.